The new cutest creatures in Star Wars are currently more popular than Star Wars itself. Why resists Twitter.com spider slash status 911131310613303298 Predictably, everyone promptly lost their shit. To recap, though what are the porgs to the best of my descriptive ability, in case you are reading this aloud to a sightless invalid whose final wish is to know about porgs, they are owl-like creatures with the legs of a puffin, the wings of a penguin, the mouth of a cat, and the eyes of the world's least threatening Furby. They fucking rule. They inhabit Osho, the waterlogged planet we find Luke on at the end of The Force Awakens, and have a good relationship with him albeit a wary one with Rey, according to Entertainment Weekly. They also might have a special relationship with the Force, if some sources are to be believed. They are also, it's worth noting, cute as all hell. Look at this thing, it's twitter.com Star Wars status 9175844836661084161 hits twitter.com stiffabsky status 9175886904903270 hits twitter.com yo9 status 9178190899088506890 hits twitter.com jake wolf status 9178639144859484164 bear in mind the trailer was released least not one day ago. As with anything perfect, the Porgs have attracted their share of disingenuous detractors, who would paint them as the new Jar Jar Binks, pieces of intellectual property designed to shift merchandise over having any kind of narrative value, sooner than admit they'd adopt 15 of the things if possible. Even the Utar director of The Last Jedi loves them, so that should tell you something. These are not fat, waddling little teddy birds shoehorned into the story. If they're part of that story, Let's not overthink this moment too much. The Porgs are here to stay, and they look like they would be extremely good to hug. Note as of the time this blog was published, Porg was trending on Twitter. Star Wars was not. Entertainment movies Star Wars more stories like this one.